what do we need? More accessory storage. When do we need it? Like, years ago. I know that they have been upgrading the amount of slots that we have to store our gear in, but I think it's crazy to start with. I think it's crazy that we still have to lease our gear. Like, imagine if every day you came home from work and you had to pay to take off your pants. You know what I mean? It's ridiculous. Leasing gear is crazy. It's crazy that we still do this. I really think Polarium needs to just have free gear removals permanently. There's no reason for us to be paying for gear that we already own. You, you know what I mean? We've already upgraded it. We went through the process of spending the energy to farm and put together the teams to get the gear. Like, why are we still paying for gear? It's crazy. And then to make matters worse, they have accessory storage caps. I think, what is it, 2,000 right now? And what this causes us to do is constantly have to do a gear cleanse, right? But gear cleanses aren't simple. They're not really fast. They're a little bit more intricate than you would think. I mean, there's entire guides. I've done a few guides myself on how to cleanse gear, and we all do it a little bit differently. But even with the way that I do it, which I think is pretty pretty um, strict and stringent, I still end up approaching the 1500, 2000, whatever it is, um, cap limit. And then a lot of gear still ends up going to, to storage. I mean, it's getting to the point now where uh, I don't even really farm for gear. I just kind of farm Sand Devil and Phantom Shogun. But but right now, as I was farming the Odin uh, dungeon event dungeon this past week, I realized, oh, I'm almost at cap. In fact, I, I on one of my accounts, I reached cap, and I had to take gear out of the the the, the inbox. But the point is, it's just it's just annoying, right? Because gear cleanses can take hours, especially if you're doing it on multiple accounts. Uh, it's getting to the point where I just want to throw it in the Hell Hades Optimizer and let the Hell Hades Optimizer scan for my gear. But then the other side of me is just kind of like, well, what if it throws away like a, a quad or a pencil roll? You know what I mean? Like how how um, how willing am I to completely blindly trust the system to work? You know what I mean? Because there's all that. But um, the point is we need more space. We, we absolutely need need more space and I wish we didn't have to lease our gear, and it takes way too long to gear cleanse. Now, there's also like the RSL helper, where people like Panda put together uh, a data file for you to uh, take care of your gear. And, you know, that that's cool too, but it's not 100%, and I think it was outdated uh, the last time I, I, I looked at it, but I don't know if they updated it recently. Well, yeah, artifact and accessory storage has been an issue since the dawn of time. But since the addition of nine piece sets, yeah, they keep adding things. Accessories have become unmanageable, which has been extremely exacerbated, meaning gotten worse, by the pinpoint dungeon. It's interesting, right? Because this is the same catalyst for me to even realize the issue with storage again. So it's the same thing for Spudsy here. The new sets are great, a great addition to the game, but the quality of life needs to keep up with it. This also sort of reminds me of how we have like however, like 800 whatever legendary champions in the pool now, but these progressive chance events aren't exactly getting better. I mean, it's a step in the right direction, better than nothing, but still. QL needs to keep up with it. It's gotten to the point where I feel like half of my time is actively gear cleansing. Exactly. Gear cleansing, which is tedious and dreadfully boring gameplay. Exactly. So I have a couple of questions for the community. Do you have the same issue? Do I have the same issue? Yeah. Yeah. You know, I, it, it takes hours to gear cleanse. I, it's getting to the point where I'm just straight up like, hey, if my gear doesn't have a triple on it, if it doesn't roll a triple, I'm just going to get rid of it. Because I, I have all of my champions and teams built with the gear that they need on them. And all this spare gear that I might use later on, it, it, I'm just hoarding this stuff. I'm just hoarding it. And it doesn't really make sense for me to do so. I, I need to start just keeping the absolute best of the best, which is going to be my epic, legendary, mythical pieces, rank six with triples and above. And that's that's pretty much it. And, um, you know, I, I've been doing that slowly on my accounts. And, and everything's still fine. I've been I've been working on it for quite some time and, and nothing's, you know, I haven't been able to to not do anything if I wanted to build a new champion. Uh, so everything's working for me. 
you might not want to do the same thing because you might be in a different area of the game with a different account status than than mine is but you know that, that i'm just sharing what i'm doing recently with my gear cleanses if so what is your current strategy to manage it just explained it is 2000 slots even enough <laughs> i don't know i don't think so i think we need i think we need more or we just shouldn't have a cap at all on the gear that we have like why force us to do gear cleanses is it to, to keep us in the game if it's if it's to just to keep us in the game for a lot longer like, there's a lot of other things that Raid does already to keep us in the game. Do you have any more innovative ideas on how this could be fixed? That's a good question. Accessory storage I can deal with. Artifact storage is annoying. Yeah, so basically the jewelry is okay, but the artifact itself is kind of annoying. I mean, like, that there is a storage limit or else people would get lost. But with an ever-increasing amount of sets, and especially Centronis, it would be nice to be able to keep a few subpar pieces since you need to gear more champs for those triggered levels. True. That used to be the case for me, but more recently, it's been easier to deal with artifacts that uh, than accessories. Main reason being that 50% of artifact sets have been power crept into complete obscurity. Exactly. And we talked about this. I, I did a collab with... Um, with Gavin Masters raid and we went over it's outdated and I think it was earlier in the year uh, and since the beginning of the year they've added like a bunch of sets but when we did that video we talked about some of the sets being completely obscure or overshadowed like the uh, offen offense and life set being um, obscured and, and overshadowed by cruel and immortal gear or perception gear now being the better option to accuracy gear you know what i mean so um on those sets i can just keep near perfect pieces and sell the rest whereas in accessories being specific to faction you essentially want to keep all your slayer merciless stone skin protection refraction reaction and now pinpoint no matter how bad they are true and for me i i do this as well if it's a special piece of accessory i keep it even if it's bad like i have <laughs> i have a crit damage amulet for slayer but it's got a triple roll and flat defense. But I'm going to keep it, and I'm not going to re-roll it because it's crit damage. And it's a special set. Add the regular accessories that have been farming for almost three years. It takes this long to get gear. To get good gear takes a really long time. Unless you're just banging out hundreds of... Like you're a whale, and you could, you could just drop hundreds of thousands of energy. It's almost impossible to cleanse. That is my experience anyway. Not to mention like the four hours to do a proper gear cleanse. Which frees up about 100 sl uh, spots if I'm lucky. Uh, whenever I do proper gear cleanses, uh, I, I definitely have I get rid of a, a lot more than just the hundred. But that's just me personally. I, for me, when I'm doing gear cleanses, like one of the things I look for is okay, is it triple and above? And then another thing I look for is, am I thinking that I'm going to get rid of it, or like how do I explain this proper? Like if I don't immediately say to myself, yes, I need to keep this then I sell it. Like, if I'm on the fence about it, I'm going to sell it. Because if I really wanted it, if I really knew that this was a good piece, then I wouldn't even have I wouldn't even have to stop and question to see if it was good or not. I would just know, and that would be an obvious keeper. And what's the reason for accessory storage, then? You, you roll unrolled stuff to 4, 8, 12, depending on how well it rolls, and sell the undesirable basic accessories. Surely you don't have many perfectly rolled rings and amulets and banners, that don't belong to any set. I feel like I can blah, 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 Stop keeping bad gear just because it's in a good set. If it's so good, why isn't someone wearing it? Once you answer that question, usually half your storage requirements. I get where he's coming from, but I don't necessarily fully agree with it because there are a lot of ifs with this part. Just for accessories, which have been extremely limited to nine since the nine piece sets came out, no one is wearing it because I haven't done a big re-gear in six months. You're recommending you are recommending I sell my one protection insert faction ring because it's not great when it's the only avenue I may ever have to get a nine piece protection set for Makage, for an example. Same goes for Stone Skin, Slayer, Merciless. I may be wrong, but it seems like bad advice when some of the nine piece set bonuses are so strong. Exactly. I, I'm on his side here. If it's an attack ring with flat defense and flat HP, definitely sell. As anyone using protection set you want, blah blah blah. If it's mid uh, you could argue it's worth keeping small amounts, freeze up a ring for another person with a new chest. It's much more reliable getting protection gear, so eventually you'll have a, a full good set. Yes, 
but his okay let's see I use an example horrible protection ring makes my fastest build per blah 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 sure one day i will get yeah one day i'll get a better shadowkin protection ring for shuzen but now that's the best ring for my account but point taken i can probably start purging my nine piece set artifacts so you know to kind of belabor his point to echo it even further yes if you're aiming to get a nine piece set for protection or stone skin but like you have one accessory that's complete shit i think it's better that you keep that shit piece on just to get the nine piece set on and then eventually yes you would get better gear when you do eventually get that better piece then you could throw it on that new champion but I don't think you should just start willy-nilly selling something and then being unable to build the champion the best way that you want to, right? Because if I sold all my quote-unquote bad protection accessories, I wouldn't have a nine-piece set on Makage, which is wonderful on Makage, by the way. I'd be settling for an eight-piece or a six-piece, you know what I mean? So I, I, I get where he's coming from. But I don't fully agree with it, so I'd be, I'd be cautious to listen to that to his advice, um, just flat, flat out. Accessory storage has been my number one issue in the game ever since they added nine piece sets. It gets worse with each addition of a new nine piece set. Pinpoint really compounds this issue because you don't want to just farm to put two pieces on all or most of your champions, but due to the limited time nature of the dungeon, you actually want to farm and store gear for all of your future champs too. I want to store like 500 pieces of it when my inboxes already have full overflow accessories as it is, knowing that I need to spend hours on accessory gear cleanse just a couple weeks after the last time I spent hours on it makes me not want to log in at all. This is true. But it's also kind of the game, right? And so, like, I'm like, here, we're on my wife's account, right? I, I just finished doing a gear cleanse for her but like the way that i manage my gear on my wife's account is almost the same that i do uh with about one or two steps um below right um i just do that and then i go through it a little bit more in depth but let me let me log into my log into my uh, uh one of my accounts here okay so i mean i'll show you guys what i mean i just know that even if they gave me 2500 st uh, slots i'd still have full inventory i'm the same in every game i play for me this is a me problem, not a game problem. Nice to meet you, fellow dragon. A fellow hoarder. There you go, dude. Let's let's read that, but um let me let me oh, let me log in first here. All these red dots. Alright. So this Makage is not in a in a nine piece set. The the one on my main account is. Let me sell these things here real quick. But this is how I do it. I I go from one to five. I automatically sell everything from gray to blue, automatic sell. And for the most part, for most gear, right? I, I still haven't done a, a proper gear cleanse on this account because I've been trying to do it on my, my main account. But what I'm going to do is looking for everything that has a triple and just keeping that. Because look, I'm at a thousand here, right? A thousand out of 1500, that's, that's insane. I have a lot of gear I need to get rid of. Like, all of this here, I'm thinking about working my way towards dwindling down in a way like this. I'm going to sell this. Yeah, it has a double on speed, but I could just get that from perception. And, you know, this, 111, sell it. I also look for something like the bottom row. If it's got flat stats, for the most part, unless it's re-rollable, I sell it like this. Well... See, this is this is one of those outlier pieces, right? It's got a triple on speed on chest. This is something that could end up being really useful just to get the set going, just to get the speed that I need. So I have to do a proper gear cleanse, and I don't want to do it here because, like, what if I re-roll and it's something good? You know what I mean? Like, um, yeah, it's a pinpoint set. That, that's, the, that's the other argument. So I have to really sit down and go through my gear for, for that. I think accessories are fairly easy to gear cleanse. If it doesn't have a or if it doesn't have a set effect, it needs to be god tier, or it needs to be the only option for that faction and slot. Set bonuses are so strong, even a five star rare can be the better option over a six star mythical base faction piece. True, it could be. 
Artifacts are another story entirely. There have been a lot of good new artifact sets introduced. We are up to 55 gear sets in total. If I'm counting correctly, 14 of them have been added since the last total gear storage was increased. We can only keep an average of four pieces for any slot. That doesn't leave a lot of room to keep gear for new champions. If you sell all the old legacy sets, which is a good idea, then you can do like eight to 10 of the new sets. That's more manageable, but it's still hard to cut down. That can be used for different types of champions. For example, Stone Skin can be for any champion type tank, debuff, or nuker. True. Merciless is the same. Four or nine pieces for support, six to nine for damage dealers. So you need to keep more of this new gear compared to the older sets, like Savage, where the set effects steer you towards one style of champions. Yeah. Like, I, I get what he's saying, right? Because I, I find myself looking for more Merciless gear than I do for Savage. Or, like, Lethal gear sometimes ends up being better. Instinct is also an argument, right? Because it makes you go faster. And in, in things like Gold 3 or 4, Live Arena, you want to be going faster. You don't want to just hit hard. You want to be able to go fast enough, right? So that's, like, why, for example, uh, I mean, Georgian always gets banned. But I have him in a in a instinct to get, to get that speed, but still keeping that ignore damage mechanic, right? If I kept him in, in Savage, he'd be going a lot slower. I have him at 287 right now. So uh, w whenever I do get to use him, he smacks. But <laughs> more often than not, he he doesn't get a chance to even get into the arena. But, I mean, he still, he still does work for me in, like, Siege and, and um, you know, Classic Arena as well. I'm just starting to get rid of all regular accessories that are that are not legendary or good multi rolls. There's just so much better options, especially pinpoint now. There's no reason for you to use basic accessories anymore, and there's not that many champions for you to keep. So many of them just be more strict, right? And you know, uh, just to uh, reiterate again, it's just like if your champions are already built, if most of your champions are already built for every aspect of the game, and your teams are already set, I think it's fine if you want to start selling more of your gear, right? Because if your teams are already built, then you don't have to stress over it. Like, I'm curious, right? Let me see, because Hell Hades, uh, this is actually life-changing, right? So you go to the Hell Hades optimizer. BBL jersey. And you go to artifacts, right? And then you can set up this however you want to. You can look at everything. Um, and then you can click, where is it? Where is, I thought there was a, or is that the paid option only? Acquire substat, show faction. I thought there was a, oh, you know what? It's probably just the paid option where it shows you the the rating that Hell Hades would have on specific pieces. And then it would tell you if it's worth keeping or not. Oh, that's a paid option. Damn. But yeah. So there's there's that. Uh, let me know what you guys think.